Hey everybody, it's Gio from Microsoft at Florida International University and today is February 12th, 2014. It's 6.12 a.m. and let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do random damage to enemies. So this random damage uh, technique is going to be broken into two different methods. And I have two ways of doing it, right? So to get things started, I'm going to show you the first way. You shoot an enemy and it deals a random number of damage to that opponent. And I'm just going to keep shooting until I kill something. So these guys are taking 3 damage, 4 damage, 5 damage. And you can see it changes every shot, right? So that's generally how it works. So I'm going to X that out and show you how that goes. And the reason I'm doing this is because I've shown you videos on the random function. I've also shown you how to implement power-ups and call them randomly. But now I'm going to take it to another level. I'm going to show you how to do random damage to every enemy you fight. So let's say you have a weapon that does between, you know, this, man, much, this much damage and that much damage. And you don't want it to be a fixed number. That's totally cool. This tutorial is going to help you do something like that. So, getting started, we have the new code. And everything I haven't commented out is what's going to work when I run this project. So, starting off, we have a bullet, and when it collides with an enemy, it displays the text, it subtracts the damage of that bullet from life, and it destroys that bullet. So this condition is more or less the same thing as this, uh, this condition, or this event is more or less the same as that one, right? Now what's different is every time I create a bullet, I'm going to set the damage variable of that bullet, which is an instance variable I made right here. I'm going to set that instance variable to a random value between 1 and 5. And it's very important that I round this because that way it'll be an integer. If you do not round the random function, you get a double, which means it could be 2.333, 2.678, so anything between 1 and 5, literally anything. So I round it, and it gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, right? So what happens with this is it's relative to each bullet you create. So every time I shoot, that bullet will have a random value between 1 and 5 for damage, right? So that is the first way of doing this random damage. And there's one more important thing you have to remember when you're doing damage to enemies as opposed to just killing them in one shot. You have to subtract from some form of life and then kill them when they have no life left. So each enemy has an instance variable called life, right? And the blue guy has 5 life, the purple guy has 10 life. So when they have less than or equal to zero life, destroy them. And that's just what I would call a check to make sure the enemies die after they've run out of life. So this is very important. And now I'm going to show you the second way of doing it. Right? So I'm going to toggle this disabled, toggle this disabled, toggle that disabled. And I'm just going to turn back on the stuff I had um, for the other way. Right? And I'm going to run this. And the alternative to what I just showed you is where each enemy you create takes a random number of damage. So that enemy took 4 damage every shot. This enemy takes 3 damage every shot. Uh, let me try to get this guy on the bottom. And he takes 2 damage every shot. So now this pink guy takes 3 damage every shot. And as you saw, the randomization was different. Right, so what I did with this was I did a similar thing to before. However, instead of subtracting the bullet's damage, I ha now have instance variables on each enemy called damage. And I randomized those. So when I create um, an enemy 1 or an enemy 2, I set their damage variable to a random value between 1 and 5, just like I did with the bullet. But the difference in this is that this is relative to each enemy. So if you're looking at the scale of things, when you create a bullet, before whenever you created a bullet, that did a random amount of damage. Now, whenever you create an enemy, that enemy takes a random number of damage based on his instance variable. So that random variable is set once, and then he's going to take that amount of damage every single time he gets hit after that. So as you can see, they both use the random function, but they work differently. 
So I'm going to put this project on the sky drive if you don't understand it completely or you may want to tinker with the code and see where it goes. And I hope you have a great day. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.